Cards 2 Die Cast 4 Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cards Diecast 4 channel. I want to thank you all for watching and in this video we have ourselves perhaps the second in command if you will, the second most prestigious release that, that Press Pass would make on an annual basis. Not this particular year, but just the release. Press Pass Showcase. This is the 2010 edition. Um, I believe Press Pass 5 Star was essentially the national treasures equivalent, if you will, for Press Pass. And then Showcase here is whatever you would consider to be, I think, like Panini Prime for the 2018 year features a lot of high-end swatches and autographs. This essentially is like that. This is like the second in command, I believe. And so with this box here, I think it's almost all gonna be hits, numbered hits, with the possibility of being able to pull even a booklet. So I've seen some of the things here and they do look pretty good, uh, but of course it's been quite some time. But the one problem is that we will see here possibly is that there's the possibility for redemptions and of course press pass is out of business so redemptions may not be the best thing for us it's a small box and usually when you see these small boxes sometimes they mean nothing but hits but it's going to cost you a lot of money 2010 i think was the first year danica patrick had uh, trading cards under the NASCAR deal, so we might be able to pull something hot for Danica uh, if you're into that. Uh, Jeff Gordon, maybe something we could pull. Dale Earnhardt uh, Jr., even possibly Dale Earnhardt Sr. I have seen cut signatures out of uh, press pass boxes even as late as 2014, but uh, they were cut signatures, and I think, although I think looking back at it, it was just for uh, five star and not for showcase, but anyway. I'm very excited for this break and I have a couple uh, mag touches that are for booklets because I do not collect actively collect book booklets. That's the one thing I don't really get into booklets. I don't care too much for that. Uh, so hopefully there actually will be a booklet in here that I actually could finally put something into that one touch for. But anyway, there's the nice matte finish with the hollow or melting as I think press press used to label it because I did send in a one of one that had this prismatic finish but they called it melting but anyway let's go ahead and open it and boom that's what it is let's go ahead and zoom in and see what we have in here and this is a 2010 press pass showcase checklist and as I said this is this is very this is the second in command, if you will. Five star is the A list. Showcase was a, 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 looks like a very close second because look at that. I mean, the nice felt and everything else like that. Let's see here. We have five cards per pack, and I'm presuming that there's three packs per box, and indeed there is. This one, this first one feels very thick, so let's do that last. Because as I said, there might be the possibility of getting ourselves a booklet. So there may be a booklet. I don't think, actually, now that I look at it, I don't think there's a booklet in that. It would need to be a little bit thicker. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Very excited. Let's see here. Let's see here. First card is going to be a tag team card, if you will, for Danica Patrick and Dale Earnhardt Jr. And this card here is numbered, pretty high number, 129. If you could see it, 129 of one of 4.99. So there's, this is probably our base. Maybe get one base card per pack. Flip the card around because this is a high-end release, so I will do back and fronts with this. Same pictures from the 2010 premium boxes that I do have a video up on. Next card is going to be Press Pass Showcase, Kyle Busch, and this one is out of 4.99 as well. This is 187 of 4.99 high or, or first gear flip the card around elite exhibit this will be followed by look at this this is why i like pulling out of here some of these good retro names here davy allison 219 of 4.99 i actually have one that's out of 15 i believe a variation of this card here for good old Davy Allison 
who was a pretty good driver and had the potential of being a champion, but his life was cut short. Just mere months after Alan Kowicki, who was the 92 champion, he died in uh, April of 93, I think. Davy Allison here died in July, I believe. June or July. Our first relic, which I will set aside for bot or pack number one. It is a pretty cool swatch, low numbered card. Actually, it's a semi-low number card, but still nonetheless, it is of a retired driver though. Even in, as of 2010, he was already retired. And then here's another high numbered, I guess, base card, if you will, for Juan Pablo Montoya. So our first hit we will set aside. And this one here is specifically 35 of 499 for those of you who are concerned. And we will go ahead now to pack number two. As long as we don't get any redemptions, please no redemptions. That's the one big thing. Redemptions are a big no-no. First card here is going to be a quad, which I actually think they may have quad autographs as well. Don't, 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 uh, uh, quote me on that, but I think they may actually have that. Uh, 64 of 499 for these quad legend cars. Richard Petty, Daryl Waltrip, and this is Cale Yarborough, and that is Mario Andretti, who only drove one race in NASCAR, and I think it was the Daytona 500 of 69, I believe, and he wound up winning that race, actually. Here we go now with Clint Boyer with a little bit longer hair at the time doing the Cheerios deal for Richard Childress. Had some success, but he was never really a contender for a championship, I don't believe. This one is 99, or 89 rather, of 499. So we got a lot of high number base cards here though. There's Clint Boyer. Here we have Mark Martin, who was sponsored at the time, I think, by GoDaddy. CarQuest, I think, was another side sponsor of his. And this card here is the final. We get something a little lower. This is second gear. This is 79 of 125. Elite exhibit for Mark Martin. And then we have ourselves a hit, but we will set that aside as well. And it is another relic. Man, I want some autographs here. Where's the autographs at? This is 16, or 18 rather, of 499 for showcase on Tony Stewart. There you go. And finally, here's our final box or final pack. So I'm hoping to see some ink here because I still don't have any ink. I only have two relic cards. So let's go ahead here. Good ink, guys. Come on, let's get some good ink here. Good ink. And it does have a dummy stock in it, so maybe that's why it felt a little bit thicker. Again, another out of $4.99 for Mark Martin, who looks like a munchkin in that picture. But uh, let's go ahead and go to the next one. Uh, specifically numbered 120 of $4.99. Here's good old BP. The late BP. Uh, Benny Parsons, I remember him mainly from his ESPN commentary days, did do NBC, uh, and actually made it uh, almost to the end of the NBC contract. 218 to 499 is what this card number is here, uh, before dying, uh, right before the Daytona 500, and like within a week or two of Bobby Hamilton's death, both died of ca various cancers. I believe uh, Benny Parsons had lung cancer, head and neck cancer for Bobby Hamilton. So make sure you get your checkups annually, ladies and gentlemen. Prevention uh, first starts with you, and getting it checked out early could help cure you pretty quickly. Uh, this is Carl Edwards, and this is another second gear, 28 of 128 of 125 for Carl Edwards. Oh man, what was I saying? There was quad relic autog or quad autographs, and we just got a quad autograph right here. Very good box. Um, I'm not sure exactly who the drivers are, but we'll find out here in a second. And here is a first gear for Carl Edwards, 456 of 499. But I am liking what I saw there. I'm seeing PSA written all over that on card as well. So let's see here. Because I don't even want to find out yet. I don't even want to find. I don't even want to look at that the, the autographs. People, the people with the autographs. I'm just gonna go straight to the relics. Kurt Busch here with a eight of ninety nine. Looks like two pieces of sh no. Wait a minute. Okay, we have. What is this? 
I'm not sure exactly what that middle part is. Fire suit, perhaps? Sheet metal, potentially fire suit, another piece of fire suit. I'm not sure exactly what that middle part is. Maybe it's something, maybe it's some part of the car. I'm not sure. But anyway, Kurt Busch, 8 of 99, Elite Exhibit. And then here we have, this is 24 of 45, a three color, has a little bit of blue on the edge. Red, white, and blue, or white, red, and blue, for Rusty Wallace. Big swatch of sheet metal right there. Very nice. Very nice. Prized pieces. Rusty Wallace. Now, I'm, now I, I, I've seen it, and, but I don't know who the drivers are. I don't know who the drivers are, but it is a quad autograph. So what I'm going to do here, because I, I don't get the opportunity to do this very much, you guys are going to find out who it is first before me. All right. Who is it? Anybody good? Is it backwards? Let me see. Let me flip it around. You guys are seeing this. I'm actually just looking up at the, at the wall here. I'm not looking at the autograph. Quad autograph for Rick Hendrick team. Eight of ten. Look at that, guys. And these are the four members right here that you want. Let's see. I, I'm trying to get better light here. Jeff Gordon on the top right here. Nice autograph right here. This is going directly to PSA ASAP. Jeff Gordon autograph on card. Dale Earnhardt Jr. on card autograph. Mark Martin on card autograph. Seven time Jimmy Johnson on card autograph. Let's see here. Let me get one of those dummy stocks. Maybe you guys could see it a little bit better. There we go. There we go. Now here we go. Jeff Gordon. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Mark Martin. Jimmy Johnson. Eight of ten. Boom. Acetate quad on card autograph. Now this is what you call a hit right here. This is what you call a hit right here. Scolding hot PSA caliber. In fact, I'm glad I'm wearing these latex gloves here right now. In fact, as we speak, I'm actually going to continue recording this because I want to have you all see. Let me go through my, my junk here. Let's try to get a penny sleeve. I want you guys to see it go into the sleeve and the card saver that it's going to PSA in. Very good autograph. Let me get a real clean one. Got all this dust here in my room. And the thing is with those acetate cards, they, they collect dust real quick. So anyway, no fingerprints on it. Again, one more time. Showcase to you again. Quad and this, and, and as I said, that sometimes it has Casey Kane or Casey Mears as the driver here, but this is the best formation of the four Rick Hendrick drivers. You got Mark Martin, Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon, Dale Jr., all Hall of Fame drivers. This is eight of ten. You always want the one of one, but eight of ten, I ain't bitching. I am bitching. Let's go ahead and flip it around. Let's see what it says here. It's hard for me. I gotta pull this up here. You are now the proud owner of a 2010 Classic Collections Inc. Rick Hendrick Motorsports autograph card featuring authentic autos of Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, Dale Jr., and Mark Martin. That's what the back of the card looks like. Scolding hot. Scolding hot. So anyway, let's go ahead and go. Penny sleeve, and it's for, and this is a one. This is a penny sleeve for like the larger, thicker cards. So I'm, I want to make sure that there's nothing touching it. And like I said, in fact, I'm getting me another card saver. There's already a bunch of dust on it. Card saver one. Boom. This is going straight to PSA. I never even got to touch this card with my bare hands going straight to PSA. Now, not only that, I'm going to now go, and I'm including all this in the footage. This is a sleeve that I put the PSA graded cards when they come back to me. I'm going to go ahead and protect this card even more 
by putting this into a sleeve for a PSA graded card. But I'm going to go ahead and stick it in here so that it's, it could stay as dust free as possible because I don't want them taking any points off the grade whatsoever because I want this coming back a gem intent as much as it possibly can. So there you go. 2010 showcase. It was pretty lame, but we got our big payoff in the end. Quad autograph. Jeff Gordon, Dale Jr., Mark Martin, Jimmy Johnson. What else can you say? 8 of 10. I say this is a pretty good deal. I got the 2013 version coming up as well. Uh, and so I hope you guys check that out. Cards of Diecast 4 channel. Hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe.